Hi everyone. I'm Maladaptive Daydream. You can call me Mal. I'm here to present a short but seriously important video about the prevalence of incorrect identification of content reuse in the voice actor audios on YouTube. Welcome to It's Not Content Reuse, a lesson for listeners and for YouTube itself. Here are the topics I'll be covering in the next few minutes. Please, whether you are a YouTube viewer or a Team YouTube member, take the time to listen and get to know these points. What is a script? What is happening when multiple voice actors use the same script? Why is this wrong? What can we do? And what should we look for? First, what is a script? Very simply, a script in this case is a set of words meant to be spoken by a voice actor or VA in an audio. A script is either written by the VA or by a scriptwriter or possibly someone who fills both roles. There are two main types of VA scripts, limited use and general use. We'll get into these more now. Limited use scripts are those intended only for one person to perform. In this case, the VA may write the script for themselves, the VA may commission a scriptwriter to write the script for just them to perform, or the scriptwriter may offer a script to a particular VA, intending that it will only be performed by that voice actor. Limited use scripts are not listed on script sharing sites such as Reddit or Scriptbin. If you hear someone other than the intended performer recording these scripts, that is most definitely committing content reuse. YouTube has penalties for this, and the VA community understands that. Here's where the problem lies with general use scripts. General use scripts are those intended for any interested voice actor to perform, and that may include more than one person. The script does not belong to the first voice actor to find it. In these cases, either a VA or scriptwriter will write a script that basically anyone is allowed to perform, and these will often be listed on script sharing sites. So what's the issue? Multiple people recording these scripts is absolutely not content reuse, and yet YouTube is still imposing penalties for this perfectly legal and legitimate practice. What is happening when multiple voice actors use the same script? There are many bad effects, all of which are actually happening right now. Listeners report the videos as reused content. VAs are finding that their channels are demonetized for this or that they are not accepted for partnership. Videos are being erroneously removed. Strikes are imposed against VAs' accounts, which are cumulative. All of this makes voice actors wary of using general use scripts. Though many of us depend partially or wholly on these amazing scripts generously created by scriptwriters for all of us to be able to enjoy, we are afraid to use them because that might now mean that we can never get our channels monetized, or that our channels may even eventually be deactivated. This is also bad for scriptwriters because if their scripts aren't getting used, they're not getting the work and visibility that they definitely deserve. It bears repeating. None of this should be happening. It's all unnecessary. Why is it wrong? Why shouldn't this be considered content reuse? Well, think of it this way while Sir Laurence Olivier looks at you. General use VA scripts are just like plays. We would never say that just because Laurence Olivier once played Shakespeare's Hamlet, that means David Tennant cannot play Hamlet. It's the same thing. So, what can listeners do? Here are some steps you can take. First, Understand how general use VA scripts work. Do not report VAs for content reuse if they are using a script they are allowed to use. Share this video and the knowledge within it. Let YouTube know they need to understand these facts. Tweet at YouTube and at Team YouTube. What can Team YouTube do? Again, understand how general use VA scripts work. Do not accept or act on reports on VAs for content reuse if they are using a script they are allowed to use. Share the knowledge within this video with your team members and the YouTube community. Here are some things you can look for 
on a VA video that are hints that it's not content reuse. I used one of mine as an example so I wouldn't call anyone else out. On the thumbnail on my video, you can see the script by information. It indicates the author of the script and may also indicate where the script is listed or stored. Not everyone puts this information on the thumbnail. It may also be in the video description. If you're not sure the VA has the right to use the script, try contacting the scriptwriter. In the description of my video, you can see I also call the author of the script out here. You can see the term script fill is in the description. Script fill is a dead giveaway that the script is a general use one. That doesn't mean it's not general use if you don't see script fill, but if you do see it, it's not content reuse. Thank you very much for watching. We in the VA community sincerely appreciate your attention to this matter, whether you're a part of Team YouTube or a listener. This is an important issue that affects artists, writers, and YouTube's content and community, so I have confidence that we can all work together to fix it. Please spread the word.